Hello, new friends, old friends, and forever friends. It's uh, John Smale here again, uh, talking about Smale's Pace, a uh, coffee house I used to own in London, Ontario in the 70s. And uh, we've, we've talked about all kinds of things about the club, all the kind of physical layout, etc. But we didn't talk about one of the most important places was the green room or dressing room and the office, which was a combination. It was, uh, <laughs> it was 12 feet by 12 feet, the size of a bedroom. Um, but a bedroom with uh, beds, bunk beds, etc. if it was a bedroom. So in that room, I had a sort of a homemade desk that I made out of a couple of doors um, with shelves above that holding literally hundreds of albums because that's what we had in those days. Remember what an album was? A 33 and a third and a and they had cover art and you memorize the cover art, you memorize the, the notes and the, uh, the songs and the albums were magical things to behold in those days. Uh, the room was bigger than the Riverboat Coffee House dressing room, green room. Uh, at the, I spent a lot of time at the Riverboat and, uh, and in the dressing room with, with musicians and it was like cramped, especially if you had more than three people in there. And uh, so, Ours was not just a dressing room. It was, as I say, my office where I did artwork, where I paid bills, where I do the kinds of things you have to do for administration. But um, at one wall was a, a drapery over top of it. And in behind the drapery was uh, door number one, door number two, door number three of uh, everything from staff coats and clothing to uh, tech equipment like microphones and stands and extra cables. There was extra stock uh, for the kitchen even, uh, believe that or not. And there were all manner of things behind the curtain, is it? And uh, so, um, and in the middle was where you were supposed to stand around and pop up your guitar cases and open up and tune up and do all the things that musicians have to do before they go on stage. Um, the, uh, the room was girlfriends and uh, of, of the musicians that is, or boyfriends of the musicians. It was their kids sometimes. I mean, the Good Brothers uh, played there so often. I watched their kids grow up and uh, you know, Travis and, and Dallas and, and, the, and the kids that are now part of the, the Sadies and groups like that, they, uh, they were traveling around with their parents. Um, Dave Essig's son, Peregrine, and uh, Paul Mills and Bev Mills' son, uh, Trevor. And there were all kinds of these uh, babies and toddlers and runabouts and uh, around the club. Uh, I'll talk about that sometime. I, I was going to draw a floor plan of this, uh, of that dressing room come office, but I thought, oh, what's to draw? I mean, it's just, it was packed full of stuff. Uh, I've got this other camera here that my son just gave me. And um, so I, I'm just going to flash it around here where I work out of uh, my, my, my studio here. And uh, as I zoom around, you can see I've got a couple uh, couple iMacs and printers and um, there's Trevor's new camera, but it's not on the stand that he brought down a 4K beautiful Canon camera. And uh, there's a Michael Bidner uh, original art piece on the wall there. I spoke about uh, Michael in the posters and flyers uh, episode. He was one of my favorite artists. Uh, this is my uh, drafting table and art area with all my everything from paintbrushes to drafting materials and whatnot over there. Uh, magic markers and everything but letter set. And then I've got an, sort of an entertainment area here with uh, tons of music on there. I've got a turntable, which we'll be getting into soon. Um, everything kind of gets a bit all over the place when Trevor's down visiting me. He's bringing me stuff all the time. Dad, I don't use this cable anymore. You'll need this for doing this or what. And this is a whatchamacallit. And if I go around the other way, I've got my 
uh, work surface desk here and uh, big window overlooking which you can't see out because it's too glary and out into my yard and over to my house and the entrance door and back again that's kind of a, a bit of a tour of uh, where I'm working out of and it's uh, look but the wrong uh, camera there Johnny boy getting used to all this technology uh, that's my little tour for the day I was talking about uh, dressing rooms uh, for musicians uh, which somehow came out of the theatrical world really started calling them green rooms um, that's my little bit of memory for the day I hope you liked it talk to you soon old friends new friends and forever friends bye bye